blog is a funny one. Just hearing it begs a question about what this word actually means. The word blog, though, is actually a combination of two words, web and log. And just like the word, a blog is two things in one. It's part journal and it's part website. Instead of writing down journal entries on paper and keeping them just for yourself, a blog lets you share your experiences with many, many people, perhaps even the entire world. And speaking of sets of two, a blog has two more parts, the author and the reader. Here's how the entire system works. The author visits the blog administration area and he writes a new post or journal entry. The posting area works as simply as writing an email. He types in the content, puts a title, adds some tags, and clicks publish. Now, lest you think of this as some overly complicated journal, please know the huge benefits that blogs have. First, unlike a static journal, blogs are totally searchable. So similar to a website search engine like Google, you can find topics you want. You can search the blog for things like people, events, places, maybe even search for your own name and see if people are blogging about you. Second, blogs are interactive. Readers of the blog can leave comments about the author's posts. Other readers can reply to those comments, and the author can read and reply to all of them if he or she wants to. This allows you not only to share your life, but talk about it too. Third, blog posts can be sorted by topic. When the author writes a post, he can add labels to his post. Words like work, home, family, vacation, etc. Then, you, the reader, can instantly sort all their posts by the different topics they have labeled them with. These labels are called tags. Now, not all authors choose to use these tags, but the ones that do add a huge benefit for the readers of his or her blog. So let's look at a pretty standard blog created at the blogger website. At the top is the title of the blog. If you ever want to return to the blog main page, you can usually click the title and it'll take you right back to the beginning. The wider column is where the journal entries or the posts are. They're automatically sorted from newest to oldest. So the last thing they wrote will be the top entry, unlike a journal where the last thing they wrote is the last entry. At the bottom of each post, you will find the tags the author stuck on this post, as well as the comments link. If you want to leave a comment to this post, click this link. You will then be taken to this page where you can enter a comment and then enter your name and email address before clicking submit. Then click this link to return to the blog. Back on the blog main page, let's look at the right column. The right column holds the navigational tools. This is also the area where you will usually find the search box. You can see here that there is an archives area, a recent posts area, and then other gadgets and features. You can also see the search box as well. Blogs are great because they allow us to share our lives with the world and especially our close friends and family. Now, many people choose to blog about other things like business, hobbies, sports, politics, you name it. If you can think of a topic, chances are there's a blog about it. There's even a blog search engine called Technorati that will help you find blogs about something you're interested in. Technorati works just like Google or Yahoo or MSN. You type in a few keywords and voila, instant search results that contain nothing but, you guessed it, blogs. Thank you for watching this free Learn My PC lesson. In parts two through four, we show you how to create a free blog in less than five minutes, how to add fun features like surveys to your blog, how to change the design of your blog, and how to easily keep track of your friends' and family's blogs with a simple, free tool. For access to these videos, visit learnmypc.org gold.